Primum non no server. Wikipedia article audio. Primum non no server is a Latin phrase that means first, to do no harm. The phrase is sometimes recorded as primum nil no server. Origin Non maleficence, which is derived from the maxim, is one of the principal precepts of bioethics that all healthcare students are taught in school and is a fundamental principle throughout the world. Another way to state it is that, given an existing problem, it may be better not to do something, or even to do nothing, than to risk causing more harm than good. It reminds the healthcare provider that they must consider the possible harm that any intervention might do. It is invoked when debating the use of an intervention that carries an obvious risk of harm but a less certain chance of benefit. Non-maleficence is often contrasted with its corollary, beneficence. The origin of the phrase is uncertain. The Hippocratic Oath includes the promise to abstain from doing harm but does not include the precise phrase. Perhaps the closest approximation in the Hippocratic corpus is in epidemics, the physician must, have two special objects in view with regard to disease, namely, to do good or to do no harm. According to Gonzalo Herons, professor of medical ethics at the University of Navarre, primum non nocera was introduced into American and British medical culture by Worthington Hooker in his 1847 book Physician and Patient. Hooker attributed it to the Parisian pathologist and clinician Auguste Francois Chamel, the successor of Lanac in the chair of medical pathology, and the preceptor of Pierre Louis. Apparently, the axiom was part of Chamel's oral teaching. Hooker, however, was quoting an earlier work by Alicia Bartlett who on pages 288 to 289, says, the golden axiom of Chamel, that it is only the second law of therapeutics to do good, its first law being this not to do harm is gradually finding its way into the medical mind preventing an incalculable amount of positive ill. However, close examination reveals that Hooker did not use the specific expression or the traditional Latin phrase. A detailed investigation of the origins of the aphorism was reported by the clinical pharmacologist Cedric M. Smith in the April 2005 issue of the Journal of Clinical Pharmacology. It addresses the questions of the origin and chronology of appearance of the maxim. Rather than being of ancient origin as usually assumed, the specific expression, and its even more distinctive associated Latin phrase, has been traced back to an attribution to Thomas Sydenham in a book by Thomas Inman, Foundation for a New Theory and Practice of Medicine. Inman's book and his attribution were reviewed by a person who signed themselves only as H.H. In the American Journal of the Medical Sciences, also in 1860, an American surgeon, L.A. Stimson, used the expression in 1879 and again in 1906. That it was in common use by the 20th century is apparent from later mentions, such as by the prominent obstetrician J. Whitridge Williams in 1911, as well as detailed discussion of its use in a popular book authored by Dr. Morris Fishbein, the longtime editor of the Journal of the American Medical Association in 1930. The article also reviews the various uses of the now popular aphorism its limitations as a moral injunction, as well as the increasing frequency of its use not only in medical but other contexts as well.